Hi, this is May Duldo, M-E-Y, Duldo Lao, D-U-L-D-U-L-A-O. <laughs> and I just want to share some thoughts from the Empower Hour today. It's Columbus Day in October 2014. And today was David Wood, the owner of our company. And it's always a special day when I can hear David Wood talk on the Empower Hour. And it's because it's a holiday today, I don't work at my bank, that I had the time. Since it's at 3 p.m. Hawaii time, I usually don't listen to the whole thing because I'm at my desk and I have work to do, so I listen to it a little bit at a time. And today I listened to the whole thing and I wanted to share some of my thoughts about it because in our company um, we've had a lot of changes and really in myself I've had a lot of changes. And he talked. the biggest thing he talked about today was letting go of things that are holding you back uh, because People will be people, you know, they will do things on their own terms for their own reasons and you have no control over that. And the things that happen in your life that you have no control over, you have to let go. Uh, don't let them drag you down. And, and another thing he said was he has this Mormon background, so for him it's like, if you sin, you will pay the consequences. However, if you forgive, I mean, if you let go of that, you change your ways and you decide to do it better. You don't have to suffer the consequences your whole life. You suffer them once, and then you move on, you change, you become a better person. And that's his philosophy from his Mormon education. And uh, a lot, he was saying that people sometimes hold on to something so long, they kind of relive this punishment their whole life, not even realizing that they're doing it. So he said, if we're not successful and we haven't had our breakthrough yet, to let go of whatever it is that's holding us back. And I had to think about that today. And the only person I could think of that's holding me back is myself. Um, I've forgiven a lot of people over time, which has probably led to the success that I have had. Um, I'm not broke. I'm actually doing pretty well financially. I have passive income every month come in. I have savings in my business. Uh, during the past year, I've made over $20,000 in my business. Now, my income is not typical, and a full income disclaimer, which has all the results of everyone's income in our business, is at workwithmay.com slash income. And May is spelled M-E-Y. Okay, workwithmay, M-E-Y, workwithmay.com slash income. That's where you can see the full income disclaimer for all the people in our company and what they're making and all that. And so... I've had significant results, so I have been, I think, letting go of things that have been holding me back for business and financial, and so today it was really about what is it that's keeping me from my goal, because I had a goal. At the end of July, I was going to be financially free. That was my goal two years ago. My goal was in parts. You know, the first year I was going to get in the black. You know, my net worth was no longer going to be in the red, it was going to be in the black, and I did it. On that day, I was like 60-something dollars. I'm going to pretend 69 just because it's cool. <laughs> In the black. On the, that day, the end of July, the last day of July, 2013, my net worth went in the black. And that was an amazing day for me because I had been in the red for, for a number of years. And um, I was in the black. So this was the year that I was going to be financially free. And it didn't happen. Okay. July came and went and I kind of got depressed and it was all about me because I make my own results nobody else does uh, the company doesn't my sponsor doesn't you know, my team members don't you know my husband doesn't it's me I make my results so I was depressed you know and the funny thing was as soon as my deadline hit like the very next day I went to a leadership seminar women's leadership seminar <laughs> And I was there for 10 days, like, just thinking about my leadership and where I'm at. And it was just a very amazing experience because it showed me a lot. It showed me that I have what it takes. I do. I have what it takes to rise above and make a difference in the world. And it's a positive, inspiring, moving, uplifting difference in the world. I have what it takes. However... That's up to me. I have to make the decision. And so this call today, this Empower call, he had us imagine who we had to let go. And I imagined myself. 
and imagine myself being disappointed in me because I went through such a good education. People invest a lot of money in me when I was a kid to be this successful person and I did a lot of things that would indicate that I would be and for some reason I didn't end up where I wanted to be and I was beating myself up for it and when I realized that you know while David Wood was saying let that person go I let myself go I saw myself floating away and you know all the the harsh words I was saying to myself I was letting them go because there's no reason the reason I was in such a rush you know to be financially free and all that is kind of pride pride I have a lot of pride and I have to let it go you know just because I'm not where I think I should be now doesn't mean anything it's not good or bad or anything as long as I'm doing my best to move forward that's the best that I can do and I, you know everyone's different I grew up in a different environment I have different background I do I'm into different things you know everyone's different so I was comparing myself to people from my childhood people from my early adulthood comparing myself to other people my age range you know comparing myself to anyone and everyone I could think of pretty much coming up with this big black X on my forehead for some reason when I'm actually perfectly fine just the way I am perfectly fine just the way I am and I'm gonna be financially free I actually already I actually know that in my heart that I will be you know and I'm not talking when I'm 65 I'm talking much sooner than that I actually know because I'm taking steps that uh, are making me I actually see results I see passive income coming into my you know bank account I see money growing I see things happening that indicate that I am on the way and I'm reducing expenses um, re repositioning myself to reduce expenses again um, and the things that you need to do to become financially free I'm doing and I'm conscious of it and I'm watching myself I'm seeing when I flounder and make mistakes and get up again and I'm persevering against outside forces that tell me not to do things that way and I know it's just not happening at the rate that I want it however that's okay so I let go of that today and I'm really happy about it and I'm happy that I'm a part of this company that I have these empower hour calls and that's one of our core commitments is to listen to them every week and I'm really grateful for them I'm grateful that our company cares enough about us to have weekly calls to to tell us you know company updates and to coach us and to give us inspirational messages because they care about us and uh, I really I really think they do <laughs> You know, I think David Wood really cares about us. I don't know why. It's just funny, right? I mean, it's kind of like, maybe it's because I, I care about people. I really do. I care a lot. A lot more than they know. <laughs> and uh, I want people who join me and my husband I so much. I want them to succeed. And I realize that I have to succeed at my word first and then they will and I've been listening to the Empower Hours from years ago uh, our company's going to make three year anniversary in October at our live event in Orlando and uh, it's exciting you know and I've been listening to all of these Empower Hours um, constantly and they all say the same thing you have to lift yourself up you have to start there and it's not only our company I've heard that before everyone says that if you want to if you want to uh, eliminate world poverty then you have to become rich yourself first because <laughs> how are you going to teach other people how to be wealthy if you're not wealthy right you know makes sense right so I'm grateful to David Wood today for the empower call and I just wanted to share some of my thoughts um, I hope this inspires you if it does you know leave me a message my uh, what my blog is can do it blog.com that's c-a-n-d-o-i-t-b-l-o-g dot com you can always reach me there and I'd love to hear more from you you know how did you feel about today's call if you weren't on it and you want to know more about how to get on it then just contact me through my blog have a wonderful day
I'm grateful for this message I could put out there. Bye.